Now there was just one final place I had to stop off before making it back to the kitchen and that's to get a loaf. This is actually a golden fig loaf using honey and figs to infuse within this whole grain bread. But if you can't find this, you can get any other whole grain loaf to make what we're about to make, which is our mega Mediterranean sandwich. Let's get moving. Now that we're back in the kitchen with all of the ingredients bought from today's farmer's market, I can finally get my fingers busy and put together this Mediterranean sandwich. But let's have a quick recap over what we've got. First off, the main ingredients going into our sandwich is this wild caught Alaskan salmon. Now, I cook this in a pan with a little bit of olive oil for about 10-15 minutes. So allow that to cool, that's ready to be sliced and added to the sandwich. The eggs as well, these gorgeous free range eggs. I boiled in cold water and once boiling point I let sit there for 8 minutes and then drain them under some cold water so they're ready to be cracked and peeled. We have our selection of 4 fresh herbs here which I'm going to be using to uh, mix them with some olive oil to add into the sandwich. And then these big juicy Herlum tomatoes over here, great colour there. And some healthy fats with our avocado. And finally, we've got some alfalfa and some spring onion sprouts there. So, let's get started. First off, we are going to mix up our herbs. So what I'm going to do is just tear some of these leaves off, putting them into a bowl. really are fresh. I can hear them hear them squeak as I pull the leaves off. And that was a good point that the uh, gentleman told me at the farmer's market was to check the stalks. That really does give you a sign as to how fresh these are. So we're going to use these leaves. These have that great fantastic aniseed flavor. And you mentioned about the flowers. You know I'm going to put a couple of the flower heads in there too just to add some more texture and flavor. Okay, moving on, this was the spicy aftertaste, so definitely want to take some of that. Kind of looks a little bit like parsley. Whew. Smells so fresh. And then finally, this one here, he said this was like the, uh, the peas. So just turn them off, adding them in. Now to add about a tablespoon of this extra virgin olive oil, just to help bring all of those flavors together. A bit of black pepper. And then one of our favorites here on behind the plate using some pink sea salt. This is Himalayan sea salt. Just to season it and to really maximize those aromas and flavors. So it's just my hands mix everything together. Put that to one side and now move on to the next part of our ingredients, which for me is going to be slicing the hurling tomatoes and the avocado. Now the thing I love about these is the woman was saying they're so fresh they can't even get these in the store because they won't keep long enough. So she said it had a really thin skin. You can see the color in there. Let's do some big chunks here. That's one. She said this was more like a pineapple color inside so Let's get this open and bring those colors out. I keep talking about how fresh these are, but really all of the ingredients, even the bread, this is actually made and baked in a local bakery here in California. So the fresher the ingredients you can get, the more flavors and quite often better nutrients you're going to get because they're not sat there or trying to increase their shelf life. You can see here, she mentioned pineapple kind of colors in there. We've got the reds, the orange, the yellows. It's going to make a great sandwich. Avocado. Now you want to try and get a ripe one and the way to test that is just give it a squeeze and make sure it gives just a little bit. So you can see here, if I squeeze it in, it doesn't pop straight back out and it's not too, too hard like it would be if it were not yet ripe. So the way to do this is slice down the middle, rotate around, Give it a twist, and then with the nut there, take a sharp knife, lift it straight out and into the trash. Now, I use a lot of avocados when I cook, but none that have looked quite like this. Look at the green colors in there. So now I'm just gonna take that knife, slice it right down the middle, 
peel off one of the edges and get my thumb under there and just peel away at that skin. So the avocado and tomato is ready. Now let's move on to the eggs. Now I did say I've already hard boiled these so it should just be a case of tapping the top and then de-shelling them. Now I'm going to slice the egg open. Should really show the difference between using organic eggs and I mean you can see here look how yellow and bright that yolk is. But today we don't want the yolk in our sandwich so I'm going to put that into the trash. We just want the egg whites which contain all of the essential amino acids which are really important for muscle recovery, maintenance and of course rebuilding new muscle. So let's lift these eggs, put them along with our tomato and avocado, ready to go into the sandwich. Finally, the salmon. So I'm going to take this off the plate, back onto the board, take off the skin. Should just be a case of peeling it off with a little help from the knife. Now salmon is a great source of protein. People are often worried because of the calories from the extra fat, but these are good fats, fats that we need in our body to help us maintain and regulate tons and tons of different features, as well as contribute towards building lean muscle mass. So now for the finale, I'm gonna clean the knife. I've taken the end loaf because we're gonna eat bread. This is a great time to include it in a kind of a crusty outer part of the bread for our sandwich. So with the knife, I'm just gonna Slice it right down the middle. Gorgeous, okay. I'm nearly there. Instead of using butter or margarine, I'm gonna take a tablespoon here, a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is great for dipping bread with a little bit of balsamic vinegar in the middle. And just use the back of the spoon just to spread that over one side of the bread just to help again bring out some flavors. Here's salmon. Now this is a six ounce piece of salmon. So a good serving of protein there. I'm just going to slice it not too thinly. Another way that you can tell by its freshness is through the color. That rich pink that runs deep all the way through the salmon. Often with the farm fish they color it at the end adding that color to make it look like it's fresh but this stuff really is. So we're going to add this first onto the base of our sandwich. Plenty left over to make another great tasting sandwich later on or for another day. Next up, let's add some of these greens in. So as you can see, I don't need to use everything. Just a little bit of everything on there. Make sure we get everything in. And at this point, I'm gonna add the sprouts that we got earlier. So the onion sprouts, let's pull some of them off, lay them down. And now for these alfalfa sprouts. Again, add some great flavor and also add to that consistency within the sandwich when you bite in. Now for the tomatoes, eggs, and the avocado. So let's be creative here. Let's take one of each. Taking some from that yellow and the red, removing the stalk as we lay it down. Okay, now I think let's get some avocado on. So I'm gonna finely slice this just before I lay it down. This is where it starts to get a bit tricky and a bit messy, but that's okay. As long as we can fit it all in, that top of the sandwich crust is gonna help contain everything in one. And finally, the egg whites, really to top off the protein and also to help raise that protein BV values, the biological value, to really increase all of the complete amino acids. Basically, protein combining. So we're gonna add these on top two great sources of protein in there, two great sources of fats as well. 
along with the salmon and the avocado. Good complex carbohydrates with this sweet fig loaf. Again, you can use any type of whole grain bread, especially if you can find things like Ezekiel or rye, and full of flavor, vitamins, minerals from the mix of different herbs we have over here. Ah, everything can. And there we have it. Inspired by the Mediterranean, this mega healthy, great tasting sandwich with all of the produce and ingredients bought fresh and locally here in California. Bon appetit.